Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Product Focus Fridays. This month is all about Coco Vanilla Studio. And the tool that we were asked to use was sketchy pins. So I am again using my, let, or my unforgettable collection and just going through and seeing what I have left. Pulling out all, because I have everything mixed together, so I pull out all the scraps and all the embellishments. I'm gonna go ahead and get those photos of my lovely flowers that me and my mom just planted. And I am going to back everything um, with some black cardstock for a dramatic effect. <laughs> However, you will see that I mess this up, you guys. <laughs> so I cut a 11 by 11 square out of the middle so that I can back this page, right? So I can border it. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this one full 12 by 12 sheet and I am going to do something so crazy. I trim it down and I trim it the wrong way. Okay. So I should have trimmed it the other way, but I, I mean, I should have ripped it the other way. Okay. I should have turned the paper clockwise one time and ripped it, but I didn't. So now I'm trying to figure out how I can make this work because I want the ripped line in the middle and I want this to be on the page with the black border, right? But I can't make it work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did this. So I I definitely ride the struggle bus on this for quite some time. And I'm like, all right, I like that. I'm, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. So I finally get that on there and I'm going to glue the two pieces together, but I'm gonna stick them too far over and trim it down. Right? I was already having a struggle. I was already riding the struggle bus. And now it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. Can't make it fit. You can see the opening. So I'm like, all right. We'll use that some other time. <laughs> for a different layout. So I come in very thick. And cut out like a 10 by 10. <laughs> square. It's okay because I did still need all those black scraps to, to mat everything that I wanted to mat. But yeah, I was like, did you really just do that? Yes, you did. So now we're going to have that really thick torn edge on the bottom. And I actually do like that. I do want to apologize if you hear background noise. I am sitting outside this morning enjoying a nice cup of coffee, doing all my voiceovers. And the birds are chirping, the roosters are crowing, and the people are driving on the highway. So... It's a bit, it's, it could be a bit loud. And I also want to let you know that I'll have links down to all the ladies that are playing along with Jackie, who is JQ Crafty on YouTube. Go check out her channel. This is her series that she has been doing for several months now. And everything she was pulling, she has a bin. She had told me one time that she just randomly picks a piece from and then that's what she product focuses on on that company and everything she's picked I'm like I don't have that I can't play <laughs> like I have like one thing from that company you know so I was like I couldn't play so when she said Coco Vanilla Studios I was like oh, I can finally play along and there was a lot of ladies that were the same and they were like yes we can finally play so I will have everyone a link down below that is playing along now these are uh, me and my mom on a Memorial Day weekend here in the United States on the Monday off. We planted flowers at my house. My mom was like green thumb Susie, you know? So, I and I'm like black thumb Becky. They give me a fake plant and I'll kill it somehow. So, she gets me flowers that um, are hardy enough to withstand me. And we had just done, my son had just extended the landscaping to the back of the house. Um, there is still some work that needs to be done back there. We need to paint the, the bricks under the house and such. Uh, the foundation there, we're just going to paint that white to brighten it up. And I do have to put some pavers to basically edge all of that in. But we got the flowers in. <laughs> so... It's really pretty back there. My fiance was like, too bad we like never see this. <laughs> and I'm like, well, the neighbors will enjoy it. But they're all um, perennials. So all of these will come back next year. And then we planted 
pots and my mom like takes older pots and spray paints them. So the ones that look all gross and ugly and, and funky, she spray paints them fun, fabulous colors and then they're gorgeous. So like that yellow one that you can see, my mom spray painted that one. The teal one was mine and she had spray painted an orange one and she was like, I did these for you so you can have some color. And I was like, yay. All right, so you see here, I have rambled on, trimmed my photos down, uh, and I took the two and put them on top of each other and then um, backed them in black. And I'm gonna go ahead and back them in these two fun colors, a coral and a mint green. Uh, the coral is to bring out this flower right here. This is a huge daisy flower. Yeah, that thing is like super big. So that is like, that's on my back porch so that I can see it. But I'm using that color to bring in that bright orangey red color. And I'm just fussy cutting around just to bring in a more pop of the color up to the forefront. And then I'm going to back it once again in the black, just as an added border to, you know, keep the black alive because I have that big strong strip of black at the bottom because of my little mess up. Yes, I know. So I realized that I have, um, with this collection, I have been super stingy on using the 12 by 12 pattern papers, but not so stingy using the embellishments, you guys. So I'm going to run out of embellishments for the Unforgettable collection before I run out of paper, which is usually not the case, but that's okay because I can use paper for anything, right? I'm going to go ahead and stick these together at a wonky angle, popping one of the photos up on film because I have three layers of super thick cardstock. I have the Close to My Heart and the Stampin' Up! cardstocks that are behind this one, both of them. So, um, popping them together, yeah, this needed to be added up. And that's the last remaining bit of my Big Mama roll from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So, pretty excited to be using that up as well. And then I will be using my new Brutus Monroe foam tape that I received um, every once in a while. And like for here lately, I've noticed like at least once a month, um, they offer like a one or two day sale with any purchase. They send you this huge roll of foam tape. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so I go ahead and take off the backing and I'm gonna get that stuck down right there in the middle. My title is just simply going to be The Bloom. I've been looking for a reason to use the blue, the, some of these titles from this unforgettable collection. And what better place than on a flower layout? So I'm just going to separate it by the pictures. So the is going to go at the top and blue is going to go underneath the pictures. And it's foam, so I'm very careful not to pull real hard because you can stretch them out and then they never seem to look the same again. So I get those stuck down where I like them and I will come in with a liquid glue and just pop the little edges of them up and get some glue in there so that we know that they will stay forever. Because you know, I get the grease on the fingers on there and then yeah, it's over. So I just add a little bit of glue underneath little portions just so that it is stuck in several areas. And I do come in with the um, sheet. I don't know if I apologize, but I'm sitting outside, you guys, doing my voiceovers this morning and the highway is fairly close and now someone's going to ride the zipper and it's just, it's just a good day. Birds are chirping, chickens are squawking. I don't even live by a farm or near a farm, but apparently in town now the thing to have is chickens. Did you guys notice that in your area? So I do take the sheet, the little acetate sheet, and use that to place my cute little bitty um, the little squiggly lines so also linked down below I will have uh, my link to the Brutus Monroe website to the Confessions of a Paper Addict website and to the newest company that I have fallen in love with is Glassboard Studios as you see my big white mat there um, super loving it I have a 20% off discount code to their store it's Rebecca 20 if you decide to go over there and purchase anything these it was shipped to me like it made it in two days it was very exciting i also went ahead and fussy cut out these four big butterflies that were on one of those cut apart sheets and i had two from the ephemera pack so i'm gonna stick the big butterflies on these right because butterflies flowers whoop whoop 
I call it a win. And I do get the remaining little bitty butterflies that I had left over from last week's layout, which was two. But they were from the ephemera pack. I did not fussy cut these. I'm just going to pop them around. And then I'm going to stick this other remaining ephemera piece. And I think that's it. I'm probably out of ephemera. There's not too much left. I'm going to take this little sheet right here that is... Um, it was just a cut apart or a piece of scrap and I'm just going to tear it and stick it under to make it look like it's a bordering. It's like a strip that runs underneath. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the butterfly back down, add that little ephemera piece back down as well. I'm going to pull off a few of these word stickers. But I'm pretty proud of how much I've been like killing of this kit. Like, yeah. But I love me some Coco Vanilla Studios. I really, 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 really want to use their Sunkiss collection, but I have nothing to use it with, and I just don't want to waste it. I know I'm horrible. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. All right, so the layout is quickly coming to an end. I'm going to pop in some of these enamel dots and kill off this pink row, leaving just the white. And, yeah, so don't forget to go down below, check out all the stores that I have listed and all the other lovelies that are playing along with Jackie today. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. I am going to get my sketchy lines on, and I'm just going to... At first, I was going to do dashes, and then I was like, that's going to take too long. So I'm just going to do my messy lines in a white jelly roll pen. <clears throat> because it is a jelly roller, I'm going to do two sketchy lines all the way around. But I wanted to give it time to dry, um, so I didn't rub my hand through it. Not going to lie, you guys. Yeah, that's the story there. So I will do it one more time. And I absolutely adore and love this collection and layout. I want to thank Jackie for picking something that I can finally play with and letting me play along. So don't forget to check everybody out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.